Hello everyone. We are discussing about the what are the reasons for delay commutation. Generally, we have three types three types of commutations. That is, ideal commutation and over commutation and under commutation or delayed commutation. Generally, the commutation is delayed commutation. The reason is first is the reactance voltage. Second is the cross magnetizing effect of the armature reaction. What is the generally so in commutator segments we have the inductance the inductance because those are the uh, book those are the windings windings means inductor whenever the inductor is there automatically current reversal taken place means EMF is generated the generated EMF will oppose the current reversal. That's why we have delayed commutation. Next is cross magnetizing effect of the R major reaction. The second reason is the cross magnetization effect. So here due to the above reasons at the end of the commutation period the current I is available that is called the residual. This is called the residual. How we can tell that? So if we due to the reactance voltage the due to the reactance voltage the commutation will be done like this the commutation will be like this that means here we have some value what is this meaning here the current generally the current is zero although the current is zero but some current is available some current is available across this this is called the residual this is called the residual okay so still some current is this current must and should be zero this positive current become must and should become the this have some positive current it must and should become the zero it should be zero that's the reason i still call the residual to be reversed that means it is a positive value it should be become negative value but this current ionizes the air gap between the brush segment A. So what happened? We have the segment A is there, brush is there. Generally it should be the zero but it has some current due to that some EMF is generated some EMF is generated that should be the current should be flows like this. Some current value is flowing in this way the current value is flowing in this way and what happened some ionization is done because it should be zero but whenever the some ionization look at here the ionization air behaves as a conductor generally ionization means what happened the plus minus plus minus formation is done so due, due to this it will be maybe chance of acting the conductor through which the current jumps into the segment A. So due to that, some current will be flowing in the segment A in the form of spark. Due to that, some spark will be generated. If you take the segment A, some spark will be generated. So maybe there is a chance of the spark. Some spark will be generated. Okay. So due to the cross magnetization effect, it will be done. The under commutation causes sparking at the trailing brush strip, both generator and the motor. So due to the under commutation also affect sparking only trailing port trip. Why trailing? Trailing means flux value is high. Here the flux value is high. Flux value mean I means the generator EMF is I. So then automatically the more EMF is generated, it will be causes causes the spark at the both the generator and the motor. Okay, next. So, in order to remove this delayed commutation, under commutation, we have two methods because the under delayed commutation affects more on the more on the operation of the DC machine. So that's why we need to avoid this 
we have to find out the remedies for this those are the two commutation methods the first method is resistance commutation and second method is voltage emf commutation two methods are available first is the resistance commutation second method is the voltage emf commutation so we have to discuss briefly about this each and every method the first method is the resistance commutation the resistance commutation so here we should discuss this here the brush resistance will be in series with the coil under commutation generally brush has we are connecting a brush here it has some resistance some resistance r value brush consisting of the some resistance under commutation process the time constant of the coil is reduced thereby current response so if increasing the resistance what is the time constant tau equal to l by r tau equal to l by r when r will be increases then automatically tau will be decreases tau means the time constant will be decreases time constant will be decreases that is the thing only so reduced so by the current response that is the current reversal become faster current will become the very speed here and in other words we can tell in other words the voltage drop across the brush is large so you know that it has more resistance means automatically the voltage drop across the brush also very high large enough which is equal to reactance voltage and voltage due to the cme so this emf will be generated the emf will be so emf is generated what happen gmf generated across brush generated emf across brush that both e both will be across brush both will be equal to the two emfs one is reactance voltage and voltage due to voltage due to cross magnetization effect due to these two things will be same that means the same emf will be generated means these two emfs will be neutralized two emfs will be removed okay yeah induced energies are absorbed by the resistance thereby commutation process will be improved what happen we have in the generally you know here just inductor we have some emf is generated and these generated emf will be it will be brush resistance is high means we have the we connected a resistor high resistance this complete emf will be induced the same emf will be induced so then automatically the complete voltage will be neutralized the complete voltage will be neutralized across the resistance okay yes commutation will be improved okay so by this process the induced emf the induced emf we have some induced emf induced emf is the problem and cross magnetization is the problem so due to this some em these two emfs this emf and this is the emf these two emfs will be uh we have some brush resistance the brush will be takes the drop brush will be takes the drop okay so this is the method generally only one thing we should do here the thing is we have to increase the brush resistance what we are doing here brush resistance will be increases brush resistance increases so we have some resistance it has some brush then automatically this cross magnetization effect will be decreases okay so this is about the method 
cross magnetizing effect of the armature reaction and the resistance commutation method okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you